Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be doing another wig review. This brand is called Hera Remy. So they were nice enough to send me two wigs. So the cool thing about these wigs is that they are human hair blend instead of completely synthetic like all the previous wigs I have received. So let me just show you what they look like. So when you open your box, you have your wig in a net like this. I haven't even opened these yet. So this one is the China wig in black purple. So let me get this closer to the light so you can see the purple reflex. So this one is a lace front and it already has some baby hairs in the front here, as you can see. It feels really nice. It does feel different from my wigs. I'm used to just synthetic wigs, so I'm just like, amazed at this. This is the China wig in black purple. Now I'm going to show you the other wig and then I'll try both of them on. Oh, this one is called the Fay wig and it's gray with black roots. This one does not have the baby hair like the other one. One great thing about this one that I'm noting is the part. As you can see, this is already a very natural part, which I'm really excited about because I feel like this will look so much more natural than any wig I've had by like already by itself. Let's check the part on the other one. So the part on the China wig is also like that and I'm looking now and you can part it essentially wherever you want and it'll still look great, which is really exciting to me. Anyways, let me just try these both on without changing anything and show you what they look like. So this is what this one looks like. Now I did part it to the side mainly because the baby hairs up in front, I can't tell if you can see, but they're like really curly, which obviously if you're gonna lay them down, that's one thing, but since I'm white and my baby hair is straight, I'm gonna straighten those out to make it seem far more like it belongs on my head. Other than that, I do like the part. I definitely need to figure out the baby hair situation so then I can part it in a way that seems more natural to me. Anyways, let's try the other one. Okay, this one I pretty much already like as is. The only thing I would do is maybe thin it out a bit because it is a lot of hair, but I do think that the part looks really good considering I didn't do anything to it. I am really, really excited about this just because like this is the first time I have a blend with human hair, so yeah. Anyways, I'm going to work at both of them to make them fit me better and then I'll come back and show you and then tell you what I think about them. So it's really annoying as soon as I decided to film my neighbors started playing music hopefully you don't hear it and if you do I sincerely apologize. Anyway this is the purple black wig that used to be curly. I don't think it's anyone's surprise that I straightened it out generally just because I like straight hair for my wigs. I feel like they look more real. I'm not good with curls on honestly. Anyway, so one of the first things I wanted to note is that when I first straightened this wig, I didn't think it needed thinning out and then I put it on my head and I was like, whoa, it did need thinning out and that's not a bad thing whatsoever. It's like, it depends on how much volume you want and how good at, you know, customizing your own wigs you are. For me, I need less volume because I'm not that good at customizing wigs. So I thinned it out and now I think it looks more real though. It still looks nice and thick. Um, another thing to note is that this hair um, does have a different texture than synthetic hair because it is a blend. Since the caps are darker, these wigs are also um, more sold toward people of color or black people also because of the different texture in the hair. That's just an obvious point I'm pointing out. Anyway, so I did not have to do anything to the roots. I did put concealer, but I did not pluck anything whatsoever. Like the part is great. And as you can see, it goes like all the way back to here and then you can part it anywhere else. I didn't put concealer anywhere else, but like you could just flip it and at, at any other point and you could part it on the side or in the middle and you don't have to choose, which is a great thing, which I feel like is such an annoyance with some other wigs where you'd have to pluck a bunch of different areas, whereas here you don't. So I'm a super, super super big fan of that. I was really impressed by that. I was really impressed by the quality of the hair also because there was no shedding. It literally did not shed as I brushed it over and over, especially when I was straightening it and even after thinning it and straightening it again, I brushed through it and there was no 
shedding. I'm gonna show you what the hair looks like straight from the back. So this is what the hair looks like. Honestly, this is one of my favorite wigs to date just because I also really, really like this color. I like that it's not black, but it's not purple either. It's somewhere in between and I think that's really cool. I have nothing of bad to say about this wig, honestly. This is the look that I came up with to go with it. I was kind of feeling like doing something contrasting so i wore this top and then this is what my makeup looks like i have three hearts above both of my eyebrows i know they're not symmetrical <laughs> and black lipstick but i don't know i felt kind of like a dark meets cute or pretty kind of thing you can let me know what you think about that Anyways, let's move on to the other wig. So this is the second wig. So as you can see, before when I first wore it, it was quite voluminous, a bit poofy. I also didn't think I had to thin this one out, but when I put it on, even after straightening it, it still was a little too voluminous for my taste. So I did thin it out a bit, but not by much. And what I've come to realize as I've worn both of these wigs is that the, the fact that there's a blend of synthetic and Remy hair makes it so much easier to make it look realistic, which is kind of an obvious thing now that I say it, but it astounds me how much easier. You know, you'd expect it to be easier because it's not all synthetic and shiny, etc., but it really was much easier, and I think that one great thing that Hera Remy has done is making the part automatically look natural so the work is pretty much done. Essentially, if you like your wigs voluminous, there's nothing that you really have to do aside from cut off the lace, maybe put some concealer on the parting, but that's it because I didn't do anything to the part here as you can see and I think it looks good. In terms of the baby hairs, I feel like the baby hair on this wig was a lot easier for me to manage because it was shorter and when I straightened it, it just kind of went with the rest of my hair, whereas with the previous wig, as I mentioned, the, the baby hair was longer and just a little bit more difficult for me to manage since I don't lay it down or anything. In terms of this wig, I'll show you what it looks like in the back. So I'm really, really happy with this wig. I'm actually kind of obsessed with how it looks. The makeup look I did to go with this wig was inspired by two things. First of all, when I think of gray hair, I think of like old rich men. I don't know why that is. I think because of the silver fox saying or whatever. And so then I paired it with this t-shirt and I'll link down below where you can get this t-shirt that says, let me hold your wallet. So I kind of paired the eye look to the t-shirt to the hair, it all kind of went together, if that makes sense. For this eye look, um, I just used Jeffree Star's Blood Sugar. I'll show you the look closer up. It's nothing that special, I just blended a couple of purples to make it match this more. Anyway, I really recommend Hera Remy. I'm honestly very, very pleasantly surprised because as always with any new company, especially when it's with wigs that you haven't dealt with, like the synthetic wig blend that this is, um, I was kind of worried, but I'm honestly really, really fond of both of these wigs and the feel and the look of them, so I definitely suggest checking out their website if you're interested in wigs. Anyways guys, thank you so much for watching, thank you to my patrons as always, and I'll see you next time.